Welcome to the video. Today, we will be talking about V616 Monocerotis, also known as A0620-00, which I from now on call V616. Here's an image of V616 captured through U, G, I, and Z filters. On June 15, 2018, a radio signal was transmitted to this black hole in honor of the late Dr. Stephen Hawking, who passed away three months prior. V616 is situated near the center of the galaxy and is encompassed by a thick cloud of gas and dust. Its distance from Earth is roughly 3,000 light years. This black hole is believed to be spinning quickly and is not observable by the naked eye, but rather through its gravitational pull on its companion star. V616 is categorized as a low-mass X-ray binary. The black hole in V616 is classified as a stellar mass black hole as it originated from the collapse of a single massive star. Its estimated mass ranges between 5 and 10 times that of the Sun, and it has a maximum size of approximately 20 kilometers. V616 is also recognized as a microquasar, which is a form of X-ray binary system that emits streams of high-energy particles. Notably, V616 was the first microquasar to be discovered in our galaxy and has been detected in several wavelengths, including radio, X-ray, and gamma ray. V616 is comprised of a black hole and a companion star that encircles it. The companion star in this system is believed to be a low-mass star, with roughly half the mass of the Sun. The distance between the black hole and the companion star is merely 1.2 million kilometers, 0 0.008, which is approximately three times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. The companion star takes 7.75 hours to orbit around the black hole. Due to tidal forces, the companion star is locked in its rotation, and it always presents the same side to the black hole as it orbits. Approximately 10 million years ago, the mass transfer from the companion star to the black hole in V616 is believed to have begun. The binary orbit of V616 is gradually diminishing as a result of gravitational waves being emitted. The companion star is suspected to be losing mass to the black hole at a rate of approximately 10 carat 8 solar masses each year. Electrons that are accelerated in the jets launched from the accretion disk are believed to be the cause of the X-ray emission in V616. These relativistic jets can attain speeds up to 90% of the speed of light. The accretion disk in V616 is highly irregular, displaying a bright hotspot on one side and a lengthy tail on the other. The gravitational pull of the black hole causes the companion star in V616 to bulge towards it, resulting in variations in brightness as observed from Earth. The strong magnetic fields generated by the accretion disk around the black hole are thought to create the relativistic jets observed. V616 produces X-ray emission through Comptonization, a process in which low-energy photons scatter off high-energy electrons. Unlike other microquasars, the relativistic jets in V616 are oriented almost perpendicular to the disk, making it a distinct configuration. The immense gravitational pull of the black hole in V616 warps the fabric of spacetime, causing time to pass more slowly near the black hole. Thank you for watching. Limits next.